received a call at the beginning of last December from a woman who had picked up a horse that had been advertised on Craigslist for free. He was a 20-year-old thoroughbred. She had intended to keep him, but after about three or four days, she realized that the horse needed far more than she could provide. He was the thinnest horse I've ever seen. He was so weak that he would lie down on the ground and then he couldn't get himself back up to his feet. Once they got him upright again, we had him transported up here to Seattle and sent him straight to a vet hospital. So he is wearing a sling. He told us in no uncertain terms that he was not done and that he was still ready to keep fighting for his life. We discovered that he had spent about 12 years of his life at the California Polytech University in Pomona. And Anakin was one of the horses that did biomechanical studies, high altitude studies, mammalian physiology studies. Five years later, he turned up in this field in Western Washington. When a horse has been starved as badly as he was starved, you can't just suddenly start throwing food at them. They have to be fed in a very controlled and careful manner. If it's suddenly eating again in, in larger quantities, they can colic, they can die. So Anakin has been rehabbed on Equine Senior Active. We actually have a proprietary ingredient called Active Age that's in that product that supports immunity as well as health for older horses. Anakin's a really good example of how a feed like this and the proprietary ingredients and the overall diet can really support a horse to go from basically surviving to thriving. Come on, monkey. The first day that we were actually allowed to uh, turn him out into his run. So I'm not going to come out, I'm going to paw. He didn't want to go out at first, and then when he finally came out, he started doing this little series of sort of happy half-buck things, and it was really cute. By April, he was looking, looking strong, and he was shiny, and he was happy and healthy, and he was, he was back. Freedom! It was one of the most satisfying transformations that any of us have ever been part of. He's actually about to be adopted. We have a, uh, a woman who's actually adopted another safe horse who has offered him a home for the rest of his life. I have such a connection to this horse, I can't, I really can't explain it. His heart just touches me, and it makes me feel so happy. I just get emotional when I think about him, because he could have died, and all these people saved him. And I get to let him live his happily ever after. I'm going to give him the last chapter where he's going to live his entire life out on a beautiful green pasture in a lovely barn with everything he could want 